Steam Power Classroom. Now, as you know, Halloween is right around the corner. And this time of year, I like to pull out things that are spooky, slightly wicked, a little scary. And that theme can be brought over into all sorts of nonfiction topics, especially history. So today I'm going to show you some history books that might be kind of fun to explore during the month of October. Um, we're going to start off with a series that many of you might already be very well aware of, the Horrible History series by Terry Deary. And um, this, the, the Horrible History series is written in England. It is, um, it is primarily British history, but they do go back to some awesome Egyptians, some rotten Romans, vicious Vikings, and then it really does a nice job of covering British history as well. Um, now these, of course, are for a certain type of reader. Uh, if you've got a child who is incredibly sensitive to disturbing material, you don't want to give them these. But if you've got a kid with a little bit of a wicked sense of humor, uh, these books are pretty fun. And so I have one kid who loved them, one kid who hated them. Uh, so it really depends on who, who you have. So the Harbor History series uh, goes through the histories of whatever the topic they're talking about, but it highlights the incredibly, just unbelievable things that humans do to each other. And, um, but it does it in a slightly weird sense of humor type of way. Uh, so it's disturbing material, but it's kind of funny. And so you're reading this stuff going, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't believe this. And for some kids, it just makes them turn the page and want more. So would like to recommend those. There's quite a few in this series. And then there's the You Wouldn't Want To series. Now this is for a little bit younger probably than the Horrible History series. There's a ton of these. You wouldn't want to be a certain person. There's a whole biography run. And then there's also events in time. Uh, or like this one, you wouldn't want to be an Egyptian mummy. Disgusting things you'd rather not know. So this is going to be about the mummies. Um, so yeah, younger crowd, this is probably early elementary school all the way through, I guess, late elementary school, depending on your reader. And a lot of times, even for my older kids, I might supplement, use this as a supplement for whatever we're studying because it's a quick read uh, for your older kids, and it's still kind of fun. So again, it highlights, like, oh, you wouldn't want to live in this part of history because it was so horrible, but it does it in a very light, funny manner. Um, so it helps you kind of get, get in that some information. Okay, so there's that one, and then there's this one, same company. This is the top, this is Spooky Mysteries, the top 10 worst spooky mysteries you wouldn't want to know about. And this is a more of a going across uh, history, just highlighting 10 spooky mysteries. Then in that same fun illustrative style, so they're spooky, but it's still kept light enough not to be, you know, over the top disturbing. So there you go. There's that one. And then this is another really popular series in our library anyway, the Wicked History series. And this was put out by Scholastic. There are, I don't know, a dozen or so of these particular biographies um, that you can supplement with your history studies. But again, they're picking wicked people. They're highlighting the wicked things they do. But um, if you look at the way it's laid out, it's, it's pretty accessible. It's really fun, quick read. Um, again, so your horrible history kids are really going to love these two. And then I've got these two books. Now this one was released first, How They Croaked, The Awful Ends of the Awfully Famous by Georgia Bragg and illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. And I really like Kevin O'Malley's illustrative style. And again, this is history and um, how people died in horrible ways. <laughs> so it's, it's just it's dark, but it's funny. Great Halloween choice. Look at that. Doesn't that make you just want to read that? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. There's that one. And then there's this one that just came out uh, by the same folks called How They Choked. Failures, flops, and flaws are the awfully, of the awfully famous. So this would be the people who didn't quite die. The almost, not the Darwin Awards, right? Um, but really made some, some, pretty, some pretty crazy errors in their time. So history and humor and a little bit of dark perfect for October. I hope you enjoy those and I'll see you next time. Thanks.